Welcome to the simple neuroscience of metacognition. Metacognition is the concept of thinking about your thinking. For instance, if someone were to ask you, are you more alert in the morning or at night, you would have to reflect on different periods of your day and different outcomes. But how does your brain look at your own brain? The main structures involved are interneurons, which are neurons that connect different parts of the brain. They function specifically to help different areas communicate. The interneurons that we are interested in are found in the anterior cingulate cortex and the right insula. The right side of the brain and the insula are known to help identify self. Another system involved in metacognition is the default mode network, which is a collection of brain areas that activate in times of mind-wandering, creativity, or simply a lack of external stimulus. This is often thought of as the brain areas that activate when you're sitting at a stoplight waiting for the light to turn green, and your mind is thinking about other things. Being able to suppress this network through the recruitment of the frontoparietal control network that redirects attention has been shown to increase the metacognition network. People with ADHD commonly have difficulty suppressing the default mode network, which means that they often lose focus on tasks, zone out easily, and typically need to be prompted to self-reflect. But why do we care about metacognition? Metacognition allows us to improve in a given situation. For instance, being able to identify why your study habits led to a low grade on your history essay could help you make effective changes to do better the next time. High academic performers tend to have better metacognitive abilities. However, this isn't necessarily an innate trait. Just setting aside time to reflect and identify strengths and weaknesses can boost academic performance. Thank you for watching.